Galloway. Got it, Skipper. Yeah, I'll bring him. He's my partner, after all. What have we got? New case. White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hacks are all over it. Captain's trying to fend him off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on, college boy. I have two of my finest investigators on the case. Fresh from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex... Captain! Aren't Olympics. there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry? And of Elizabeth Short, for that so you matter. You don't believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world, with the greatest scientific investigators at our disposal. How can any killer continue to be that? Be advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue to believe they can take a life in the city of angels. Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. What do we have, Captain? Another woman sacrificed. Speak to Carruthers. I want daily reports, gentlemen. You find her, Gonzalez? Not me. The family out for a stroll. I was first reporting. Can you show me the body? It's under the pepper tree, this way. So here we are, guys. Golden Ball Fly, a new case for Mr. Cole Phelps. Or should I say, Detective Cole Phelps. And we have this officer here leading me to the body, of course. Is this where the other... No, it wasn't, was can't it? Can't be much help to you, Phelps. You can't be much help to me. Here she is. Okay. So, we have clues to find. We have B. Let's have a look here. Clearly footprints there, guys. The stomping angle in the Henry case. Was it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. Oh, uh, so basically it could be a cop copy calculator. That is easy. All right, so let's go to C. Excuse me, Galloway. You. Let's have a look at a purse here. And this up, we have money. So it doesn't seem to be a robbery. The motive was robbery. Why not take the money? I said that, Cole. See, why are you here? You don't need to be here. I can do this all on my own. Okay, <laughs> let's have a look at this one. This is Deirdre Muller. Oh, we have a name. Can you run Deirdre Muller by R and I? Back in a second. Thank you, sir. Parent Teacher Association. Right. Okay. So, there's nothing else in there of value. We have another clue, have we? Let's have a look at the body. We have to examine the body, of course. Let's check the face. Looks like there's a rope. Is it rope? Look at your mark. It's very distinctive. I'll do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you. Thank you, sir. Okay. Let's check the arm. Looks like she was tied up. You see, it does it first, but that would leave a mark on her other wrist too. Fingernails. I think her watch might have been torn off. Ah, look at the fingernails as well. Looks like she's been clawing. Unfortunately. Okay, put that down. Let's go to. Looks like a footprint. Let's check this arm out now. Looks like a ring has been sewn off. What's this mark? A cut on the finger. Fourth finger, left hand. A wedding or engagement ring. Violently removed. Yep. So there are the. You can hear that musical cue, guys. That's clearly the end of the clues. So let's have a talk with this guy here. Oh, step over the body. Similar remote. The what? The Dahlia? 
I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, fella. <laughs> All I'm saying is we've got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it, Mal. Severely battered, on display. Footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. The size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? You finished? No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation is the cause of death. I'll need to do further tests for semen. Angry boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane. RNI says a Deidre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Mahler. What'd I tell you? Let's grab the husband, take him downtown, and work him over. We can have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? <laughs> Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Can we come in? I suppose so. Thank you. Could you have a seat for me, Michelle? We're going to have a look around. Okay, so first things first, let's try and search for clues, <laughs> which is the obvious. Okay, so we're in the bedroom. What's this? A violin? I don't think this is of any consequence. No. My partner will explain everything when he gets back. Okay. Okay. Anything on the table? No. Anything in the hamper? No. Anything over here? No. On the table? Oh, yes we have. What's this? It's like a big... Incidental. Oh, incidental? Oh, okay. That's not good. There's nothing in here, I don't think. The music's still playing, so obviously we've not found any... any clues. What's this here? Oh, we have boots. Either one I think will do. Size A. Interesting. Size 8. Okay, we don't know what the size of the shoes just yet until that dude gets back to us. Anything here? Let's have a look inside. Oh. Elgin wristwatch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. Glad you're a detective, Cole. I really am. Okay, let's open this one. Open sesame. No ring. No sign of a wedding ring. Okay, doke. There we go, I think. That's it. All the clues are found. Let's go and talk with Michelle and see if she can answer any questions. Is this about mommy? Daddy is trying to find her. Please tell me she's okay. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is dead. Do you think you could answer a few questions for us? I could try. Okay. Last contact with Victor. When did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. I think she's telling Porky's guys, but we have no evidence as yet, so I'm going to push for a doubt. So you were hanging around the school for quite a while. What happened with your father? I don't know. I called and called, and finally he answered. He came straight away then. Okay, missing watch and rings. Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? Ring, a watch. I never paid much attention to that stuff. I think she's telling the true guy. I think she's being truthful. I know it's painful, Michelle. This may be important. 
She wore a wedding ring? Amy chose it herself. The rose gold wedding band and the matching diamond and ruby engagement ring. She wore a watch? Yes, a yellow gold Elgin watch. Daddy bought it for her birthday. We had a fight. It was kind of a makeup present. States of parents marriage. Your mom and dad are uh, happily married? What are you saying? Of course they are. I don't believe her. They weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. She bought her a brooch pin to make up for it. And they always wore her golden butterfly. Thanks, Miss Muller. You've been very brave. Hey! What kid? Daddy, the police are here. Go to your room, here. Please, Michelle. I'll talk to the police. Daddy, Mommy is gone. Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's your some kind of... Your wife was found murdered this morning. Found? What? But, but she only... We have some questions that we would like to ask you. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. Okie doke. Footprints at crime scene. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. Well, clearly he's telling pokies, guys, because he should know his own foot size, because he bought them. So I'm going to go with a lie. Why are you lying to me, Mr. Muller? Why would I lie to you at a time like this? I don't know. But we know you have... Which one will it be? Besides eight, won't it? Of course it will. That's funny. The work boots we found here are size eights. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? Because I always get teased about the size of my feet. You know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. Alibi for Hugo Miller. So you were here all night? You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. Well, we know he's telling porkies because his daughter was ringing him and ringing him with no answer, so he's obviously either ignoring the phone or he was out, so I'm going to go for a lie. You should come clean if you're having an affair or if there's something going on. I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? Husband's alibi. So why did you take so long to answer the phone when your daughter called? Okay, I went out for a while. I was, I was driving around. It's my way of relaxing. We're going to go with history of violence. Your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not, that's not true, God damn it. Well, we know it's lying because, we, again, the daughter spilled all beans, so we know it's a lie. It is true, Hugo. You're a violent man. You try to keep a lid on it at home, but sometimes you lost control. Your daughter and your wife were scared of you. You don't know anything about me. Well, we know you bought the butterfly. I know about the golden butterfly, Hugo and how you bought your wife off the last time you heard her. She liked to spend money, all right? Dresses, uh, jewelry, her hair. It drove me goddamn crazy. Do I look like a Rockefeller? Nobody likes a cheapskate, Hugo. Missing persons reports. You phoned in a missing persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around. She left around 9.30. Uh, Michelle was out of dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. Oh, he's selling pokies. So we're for a doubt. Did your wife ever go out by herself? To bars? Nightclubs? No. What are you, what are you suggesting? Are you suggesting my wife's loose? <laughs> now is not the time for you to be pushing me, mister. Your daughter said you were having an argument. 
we argued about who would pick up Michelle. I worked a full day. I wanted to come home, put my feet up. Getting hostile with us is a very bad idea, Hugo. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter, and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, Phelps. Put the cuffs on him. This is an outrage. I didn't kill my wife. Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. We should go back in there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi, check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in L.A. Three, we have no evidence to him to the crime scene. Hello? Detective? Yes, ma'am? I heard the terrible news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No. Not at all. I did see Mr. Mahler put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now, let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is now. OK, guys, let's chase this guy down, because no doubt he will be on the run. Step away from the incinerator. Go, 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 go. Don't let him get away. So, right, OK, I'm not going to go that way. Maybe I am. <laughs> See if we can tackle him. Come on, go, 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 go. Oh, where's he gone? Come on, come on, come on. Can we give a warning shot? No? Right, here, just tackle him. So here we go. Let's have a look at the shoes here. Looks like it's shoes on the side. Let's have a look. Blood on the shoe. Interesting. And it's a size 8. This doesn't look good, Hugo. I, I can explain the blood. Get him booked in at Central, officer. Then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. And inform the captain. Yes, sir, detective. Is there someone you can call, miss? I, I don't... I want a home and... You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. You have other family? Grandparents? Aunts or uncle? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Bakersfield and... Call her. We're gonna get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. Oh. We ought to get some uniforms down here, clean up, take care of the kid. Good idea. Okay, let's go to the phone. It clearly wants us to phone someone. Galloway, homicide division, badge number 564. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need an address on a Belmont High School. Checking for you, detective. Look after a young lady. Roger, let's go. 1575 West 2nd Street. Thank you. Yep, so looks like we're going to go to the morgue first. Phelps, Rusty, thanks for coming. Can you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Please. Cause of death is strangulation? Correct. Take a look at the samples on the bench. Well, obviously, I think we've got to try and match which one's which. So let's have a look at this, bring it over. Is it a match? I don't know. Let's look for the bottom one. The bottom one looks, seems to be more... Plausible. What are the normal uses for that kind of rope? On boats, mooring lines. Correct. Although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches. So are we looking for a, a sailor or a minister? Well, in my experience, sailors seem to have the greater libido. Was Mrs. Muller criminally attacked? No external or internal traces of semen. Thanks, Mal. Anything else comes up, you let us know. Interesting. Okay, we have a phone here. I'm guessing we have to use that. Hello, mate. Use telephone. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? 
Are there any messages for me? Yes, detective. A green 1946 coupe registered to Mrs. Hugo Muller has been found in the parking lot adjoining the Belmont High School in Plainfields. Captain Donnelly wants you to head down there immediately to take the school janitor's statement. This is the car? Yes, sir, detective. Have you looked it over? Superficially. I was told to wait for you guys. Thanks. We'll take it from here. What time did you see the person park the car? Late last night, after school social, maybe 1 a.m. We've been keeping a good eye out lately. We've had problems with the child molester. This was the same man? I don't know, sir. I mean, I'd like to say yes, but truth is, it was pretty dark. All right. Tell me about this man you've been having trouble with. He hangs near the playground, tries to befriend the children. He was around here last night before the dance. Is he violent? Yes, sir, I would say so, yes. There's a son of a bitch now. Hey, you! Go, Felt. Ah, here we go. Let's go and get this pervert. <laughs> Let's go and chase him down. Should we get on the bike? That'd be awesome if you could. I've got my gun out so I can't fire a warning shot. So let's go. Around here we go. Yeah, I see. Why don't you stop him, you pleb? Making me do all the work. You know what I mean? What about community spirit? Oh, he's on the run. Up the steps. Go, 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 go. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? He's over here. <laughs> Can't see him. There he is. Give it over. Give it over. Ah, you bastard. Go, 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 go. Where's he going now? Down the alleyway. Let's go and chase him. He's got some sprint on him. I can give him that. I'm tapping my A button here. Come on, where's Rusty? Jumping over this wall. Oh, I'm close to him. Oh, this way when I tackle him, I can see it. Oh, nearly. This is where I've got to get him here. Got to get him here. Oh, so close. There we go. I've got him. I've got him. I've got him. There we go. your name who's asking we can do this the easy way or the hard way name's Eli Rooney you've been in trouble with the law before Eli some what are you doing around here I like to keep an eye on the children strictly paternal is it Eli don't sass me boy a woman was abducted here last night Eli and murdered and I would love to make you for that you okey motherfucker well I wouldn't know nothing about that a woman you say I like him a little younger than that. Turn out your pockets, Eli. Now, why would I do that? Because I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. You're under arrest, Eli. You are in very deep trouble. Why bother with the paperwork, Eli? I'm going to take out my gun, and I'm going to count to five. Let's see how fast you can run now. Hang on a god dang minute. I found that thing in the parking lot. Get some backup out here, Rusty. We need to get this one downtown and into a cell. I'll tell them we got a kitty raper coming in. They can roll out the red car. Okay, so let's check the back of the boot here. Oh, looks like we have our dude here. Blood and skin samples. We better get Ray Pinker out here. And that looks like the wrench that actually that we've seen at the very it's beginning. Chrysler. Could be important. And the green overalls. The H overalls are stenciled H M. Muller is a mechanic. I wonder what Eli does for a living. Interesting. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need interrogation set up at Central for both suspects being held in the Mahler homicide case. Certainly, Detective. I'll get in touch with the watch commander. You better not go soft on me in here, Phelps. We'll work the evidence, Rusty. Are they ready? Mahler's in two and the pervert's in one. Get in there and get a conviction. 
Here's where we stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. Okay, disposal of evidence. Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. I think he's telling the truth, hey, guys. I don't think he's lying. Believe what? It's a rabbit's blood. The guy at work brought him in and I helped him skin him. Access to braided rope. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. Uh, he's lying. You learned to strangle with a rope in the army? With rope, with uh, my bare hands, but mainly with wire. I learned a lot of things in the army, but I, I still didn't kill my wife. For argument's sake, what type of rope would you use? If I had to, I would use a triple braid. Less flex, easier to control. Access to tire iron. Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. I think he's selling pork because there was one found in the boots of his car. So I'm going to push him for a lie. You're lying, Hugo. You're going to have to come clean on this. You got no proof. Yes, we do. We have the bloody tire ion. There we go. Your wife drove a Chevrolet, Hugo. What make of car do you drive? A Chrysler Airflow. So I guess that explains why the tire iron that killed your wife came from a Chrysler. Victim's vehicle recovered. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. Telling Pork he's right here. He's obviously... We found them in the back of his car, so he's lying. Enough lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. Okay, they're in the back of the car, so I'm gonna go with overalls. Green overalls, bloodstained, with the initials HM, found in the trunk of your wife's car. They can't be mine. Why, Hugo? Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator too? I'm going to leave interrogation for now because I want to interview Rooney. Captain, uh, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, Phelps, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in the wrathful and terrible God. Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing personally with him. You look like you've had it rough. You see me asking for your sympathy, boy? Okay, we're gonna go with place of him. You're down on your luck, Eli. I had worse. My family ate roadkill during the Dust Bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. Yeah, he's telling Porky's guys. This place you worked have a name? Tennessee Marine. You can't misplace big yellow letters HM out front. They give you any work wear, Eli? Sure. Green coverall. Dang thing was hot. Felt like I was back in the pen wearing it. Access to braided rope. You ever tie up any of your victims, Eli? It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them? I can't say. I learned a long time ago not to go talking about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. See what I mean? Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? 
I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? Any old rope will do me fine. Uh, I'm going to go with truth here. Farm boy like you, Eli, must prefer McGay for roping. Am I right? I prefer braid. Ty hitching braid stays tight. Motive for Muller murder. You killed Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. Ain't done nothing like that. I'm gonna go with a doubt here. You have no job and nowhere to live by the smell of things. And you need money. You've been in trouble before, Eli. Who do you think a jury will believe? I've been in trouble for other things, but I ain't never killed no one. I saw that car coming to the parking lot late last night. Man got changed there and put his coveralls in the trunk. I saw him drop the butterfly in the lamplight, and he strolled out, cool as you like. And I went over and I picked it up. So, I'm going to charge Eli. Eli Rooney, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Deirdre Muller. You want to put me back in the stir that badly, boy? You go ahead and try. I'll beat that rap. I ain't a killer. Ah, Phelps, Galloway. Congratulations are at hand. Drink, boys? I think you'll receive a commendation for this one, gentlemen. In the meantime, I'll speak to the DA about expediting the passage of the case. We need swift and merciless justice for poor Deirdre. So guys, there we go, case is over, 12 out of 12, 14 out of 14, absolutely awesome. So guys, absolutely brilliant, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next case. Yeah.